Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to uh, graph this one. Again, there is no amplitude with tangent and cotangent, so we're going to try to find our period first. Again, unlike sine and cosine, it's going to be pi over b. b in this case is 2, so it's pi halves. So we basically shrunk our normal uh, cotangent graph in half because normal normal period would be pi, but this is going to be pi halves. Uh, our phase shift is going to be 0 is less than, in this case, 2x which is less than pi. So to solve this, we're going to divide this by 2, and this by 2, and this by 2. Uh, when you do that, you will get 0 is less than x, which is less than pi halves. Again, should make a little sense, because from here to here, better be this, and I think it's going to work out that way. To calculate our divisions, we're going to take pi halves and divide it by 4. Well, that's a complex fraction, so instead of dividing by 4, we multiply it by the reciprocal, so we get pi eighths. So that's what we're going to count by, so we'll start here, add this four times in the hopes of getting there. So let's see, we'll go 0 by 8, uh, 2 by 8 is pi fours, and this will be 3 by 8, and then one more will give us pi halves. All right, so we have our five values that we're going to use. Now we need to look at the pattern. So our pattern, I just put it up here, but it's hard to see. So here's our pattern. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to graph uh, negative cotangent, I believe, this time. Whoops, I meant to make it negative. Let's just go ahead and make it negative right now. So changing your problem a little bit. Hopefully that's not going to mess with you too much. Uh, so negative cotangent, it's going to go negative infinity. Uh, negative absolute value of a, zero absolute value of a, positive infinity. So what we should have is a vertical asymptote right here, and then a vertical asymptote right here. The middle point is always going to be zero. It's going to be the absolute value of a. Well, a is negative one half. So if this is one, then we'll be at one half. Here's negative one, so we'll be at negative one half. And as you can see, we're going to go down to negative infinity here. And then this is going to go up to positive infinity. So again, one cycle of our cotangent graph. 